Before I begin, um, talking about why IT projects fail, which is taken from this book, which fell out of one of the boxes I was unpacking this morning, uh, selling off the dear late Hubert Matthews, uh, the good bits of his book collection. And I'd like to say a massive thank you to all of you so far. We've still got some books left, but so far for Code Club, we have raised over £410, which is... <laughs> which is a stonking effort. And thank you so, so, so much. This is the book I'm waving around. Hubert gave it to me once to read. And it's got a very interesting list on it, a set of categories of why IT projects fail. And at this point, this stops being a lightning talk, and I give you all the work to do because this is a lightning read. <laughs> Here we go. We've divided the reasons projects fail into various headline categories. This is the list of project conception root causes, or possibly some of them. I can never remember how many slides there are. Oh, good. We've got as far as project initialization and mobilization. Are any of these looking familiar by any chance? Every time I read this list, I'm sitting there going, yep, yep, bloody hell, yep, yep seen that one. Here's the second. Did, did that go to the second page? Good, good, good. Keep reading. You're not here to enjoy yourselves. <laughs> oh, we're finally going to get around as far as system design. Here's some more things to worry about. God, this is getting a little bit, little bit scary, isn't it? Because there's more system design reasons. These are just root causes, remember, or they're identified in the book as root causes. The book was written by a senior IBM uh, engineer who'd done a lot of consulting and seen, obviously seen a lot of complete car crashes. Finally, we're getting around to system implementation and operation, and of course, disposal once the uh, system is finished. Now, there's a couple of takeaways from this. First of all, problems are mostly rooted in conception to design, not development and subsequent phases. And look at the big one from the bottom. Only a small number, a tiny number, are actually technology problems. So, what's the moral of this story? Well, the moral is very simple. Douglas Adams was right. As his summary of the summary of the summary of the problem says, it's the people, stupid. <laughs> so thanks again. Please come and visit the bookstore. See if you can snarf up a few more elderly or not so elderly volumes. I'll look forward to seeing you around. Thanks very much.